Bridge, 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 Good afternoon, visitors. The vessel that will soon be departing to the Duluth Ship Canal is the Paul Archigurtha. The Paul Archigurtha was built as the William J. Delancey in 1981 by the American Shipbuilding Company at Lorain, Ohio. She measures 1,013 feet and 6 inches in length, making her the longest vessel currently operating on the Great Lakes. She is 105 feet in width and 56 feet in depth. She is powered by two 8,040 horsepower six-cylinder MAC diesel engines which give her a top speed of 14 knots or about 16 miles an hour. She's also equipped with a 1,500 horsepower bow thruster to aid her maneuverability in port. The Paul Archigurtha has 36 hatches on her deck, which open into five cargo holds located below deck. These spark cargo holds give her a maximum carrying capacity of 71,300 tons. Above her deck is a 260-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 10,000 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The Pollard Trigurtha is currently owned and operated by the Interlake Steamship Company of Middleburg Heights, Ohio, and she'll be departing with a load of coal that she'll be taking to St. Clair, Michigan, which is in the Detroit area, to use for the Detroit Edison Power Plant. Once again, this is the 1,013 and a half foot long Paul Archigurtha, built in 1981, departing today with a load of coal for the Detroit Edison Power Plant in St. Clair, Michigan. If you see any crew members on deck, make sure to give them a good wave and wish them safe travels. <laughs> 